Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a highly requested, updated skincare routine. I'm going to warn you in advance, this is going to be a longer, more in-depth video. Some of these concerns or products may or may not concern your particular needs, but hopefully some of the items that I show you guys today, you give a try and they work for you and help you with any problems that your skin may be having. So on my last video, I had asked you guys to comment telling me your skincare concerns. I would also love for you guys to comment on this video telling everyone else what your concerns are, what products you use, what products you like using, what works for you. I would love to open up the comment section to all of you guys to interact with each other and help each other out. Maybe there's something that I don't go over in this video that you have more questions about or that you feel you have found a solution for and can help others with. Anything that you feel skincare related that you want to comment in the comment section, please feel free to do that. I encourage you guys to do that. So I'm actually going to post a picture here on the screen and show you guys my bare skin, no makeup, and tell you a little bit about my skincare history and concerns. So I am 26. My skin has changed over the last few years. Recently, I would say it's combination. When I was in high school, it was like an oil slick. It was oily all over. It was like butter on my face or grease. It was gross. <laughs> Uh, the T-section is still pretty oily, definitely not as much as it was in high school, but it still does produce some oil. And then also dehydration. I would say that typically is like the forehead, maybe cheek area, so I get dry patches, flaky skin, but dehydrated skin looks really tight and textured, it looks dry. Other concerns that I have are wrinkles, fine lines, and pore size. So my pores through my nose and cheek area, fine lines around my eyes, and of course wrinkles all over as I age. So those are my main concerns. As far as acne, I'd say that's my last concern and I actually have cystic acne. So there are different types of acne and breakouts. So let's first discuss what type of skin we have. Here are all the options of skin types and how to know which one you are. Once you have a better understanding of your skin type, it's easier to find product and treatment options that will benefit your skin based on your skin's needs. Moisturizing and hydrating your skin is extremely important, but I think confuses a lot of people. They don't know the difference between dry skin, dehydrated skin, and oily skin, or even combination. So the difference is dehydrated skin lacks water, whereas dry skin lacks oil. That can be tricky for some people because they may think they have dry skin when actually they have dehydrated skin and vice versa. Even if your skin is overactively producing oil and you say you have oily skin, you can still suffer from dehydrated skin that needs moisture. Your skin sometimes will overproduce oil to make up for the lack of hydration or moisture in your skin. So just because you produce oil doesn't mean you should just skip out on hydrating and moisturizing your skin. Now let's talk in more detail about the different types of acne. So here is a image and description of each type of acne you could be suffering from. I also want to show you guys a few charts that I think are really important to show you different causes of why you may be having different types of acne. I'm not going to go through and read each one, but I think it's great if you want to pause it or screenshot any of these to get more information. So bear with me because I know it's a lot of product. Up first, I'm going to go over cleansers. I switch back and forth between two cleansers. So one I will use in the morning and one I will use at night. In the morning, I use the Proactive Benzoyl Peroxide Acne Treatment. This has 2.5% acne treatment gel. Benzoyl peroxide can be a bit drying, so keep that in mind when using this product. You want to keep your skin moisturized and hydrated. So this is going to be perfect for removing dead skin cells, any leftover makeup, dirt and oil in the skin, treating acne that you may have at the time, but also preventing in the future. Then at night, I use my Purity Made Simple. This is from Philosophy. It's a one-step facial cleanser. It's great for deep cleaning pores, eliminating makeup. It's hydrating, contains deep cleansing agents natural oil extracts to condition the skin. It's fragrance free. This stuff is amazing for removing makeup, dirt, and any type of buildup on your skin. It's very lightweight and honestly this is perfect for someone who is younger or someone who doesn't have like a long list of skin concerns. This is a very basic beginner's type of cleanser. And again, even if you just want to use it as a makeup remover and then use something that's a bit stronger, like the Proactive, that would be great. You can use them back to back. Or you can do it like I do, use one morning and night or every other day. You're going to have to kind of tinker with your routine to find out what really works for you. And I'll also have links for all of these products that I'm going to show you in the description box. So if you guys want to shop them or look up more information that I don't talk about in this video, 
I also like to exfoliate my skin for fine lines and wrinkles and keeping a smooth, light texture to my skin. So to do that, I use my Nip and Fab Exfoliator. This is the Glycolic Scrub Fix Triple Action Facial Polish. This is 3% glycolic acid to exfoliate and retexture your skin. It has salicylic acid to cleanse your pores. I absolutely love this exfoliator because it is harsh. It is a like really gritty textured exfoliator. I don't use this daily. I typically use this once or twice a week. When you're using it, it is extremely gritty. Sort of like it feels like sand that you're rubbing on your face. But trust me, it works extremely well. Making my skin look and feel extremely soft as well as minimizing pore size. I also love that this is a two-in-one type of exfoliant. So what I mean by that is it includes glycolic and salicylic acid. So hold on, some of you might be saying salicylic what? Here is a list or a chart of key ingredients that you guys should be looking out for based on your skin type and skin concerns. So glycolic is great to exfoliate the skin, reduce fine lines, hyperpigmentation, dark circles, and uneven skin tone. This is great for all skin types, but especially for people who are concerned with fine lines and wrinkles. Salicylic acid is great to exfoliate, cleanse pores, treat breakouts, and build collagen. So this is going to be especially great for combination and acne prone skin. I absolutely love this one. Ulta had buy one get one half off, which they actually do a lot with this brand, so I'll post the link directly to that in the down bar. Then my basic makeup remover is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Makeup 3-in-1 Makeup Melting Cleansing Balm. I don't care if it's everyday, lighter type makeup or the theatrical special effects type makeup. This stuff works extremely well. It's made with skin softening serum concentrate. You gently massage this onto your dry skin, rinse well with warm water. It leaves your skin feeling so soft, like baby butt soft. It's also hydrating. A little bit goes a long way and it literally is like a balm. It's just like a solid, I don't even know how to describe this. This stuff is the bomb. Like, no joke. It is magic for removing your makeup. I had never used or seen anything like this before, but the first time I tried it, I was hooked. So this is strictly just my makeup remover. I use this and then I follow with a cleanser. You can use this alone, but I just prefer to use this with a cleanser right after to really get that extra cleanse. When cleansing my skin, I will put either cleanser on my Clarisonic because it has that rough texture to it. So it's gonna help lift those dead skin cells. It will help to retexture the skin, to soften the skin. There's a few different Clarisonics out there. I have just the very generic, basic style. When you click on the link in the description box, you can see all the other options. You just turn it on and it sort of like vibrates back and forth and it has that brush head on it. They also have different style brush heads depending on your skin type. The first time you're gonna use it, you're gonna think it's just the most amazing thing. I have to use mine. I need it. It really does clean your skin so much more or deeper than using your hands or even a washcloth. If you're drier or flaky, it's gonna help remove those skin cells. If you are oily, it's gonna help to minimize your pore size. If it's fine lines and wrinkles you're concerned with, this is also great for texture and exfoliating the skin in a more gentle way than like say a scrub or an exfoliant does. It's definitely an investment that I think is very important to your skincare routine. I'm also a huge fan of It Cosmetics, not only because I strongly believe in their product, I think it works very well, I love the packaging, the products they have to offer, but it's also all designed hand-in-hand -hand with plastic surgeons and clinically tested, so you know it's gonna work. Using both of these, I find that my skin looks and feels very soft, hydrated, and even younger. It blurs out the fine lines and imperfections while treating them. And anti-aging products have definitely become a concern the older I get. So treating the fine lines that I have now, as well as preventing future wrinkles and fine lines. And then the other guy I use for anti-aging is the Bye Bye Line Serum Advanced Anti-Aging Wrinkle Smoothing Miracle Concentrate. Now this guy, I apply all over, underneath or in place of your moisturizer to hydrate. You can also apply it on your neck. This is great for all skin types. It's a weightless serum that lifts, firms, and fills fine lines. It says that you can see results in as little as 10 days. This is a great and easy way to add anti-aging into your skincare routine. With my combination skin, some days it's more on the oily side, and then other days it's extremely dry, tight, uh, flaky in some areas, so I need extreme hydration and moisturizing. To do that, I incorporate a few different products. So the first one is the e.l.f. Prep and Hydrate Balm. I absolutely love this little guy. It's new to the line. I just started using it about a month ago, and I became obsessed. 
It's a clear cooling balm that helps to hydrate and prep your skin for makeup application, enriched with purified water, shea, and vitamin E to help nourish and moisturize. You just apply this little stick prior to your makeup. It doesn't leave any like greasy feeling. It's extremely lightweight. It really just kind of soaks right up into my skin but leaves a nice glowing hydrated sheen. I use this before makeup sometimes, but I also use it even on days I'm not wearing makeup and I just need a little bit of a hydration boost throughout the day. Super easy because it is that balm texture. You literally just apply the stick right to your face. Sometimes that just isn't enough. So I will move up to Vaseline. Yep, good old Vaseline. I just take this bad boy and slather it all over. Like Paula Deen taking a butter bath. It's 100% pure petroleum jelly and it helps to lock in the moisture into my skin. Using Vaseline it leaves my skin feeling and looking very soft, hydrated. It helps the healing process of the skin that's very raw or dry. It does not clog your pores. You can literally get this like anywhere. <laughs> I think it works extremely well so anyone who has really dry, flaky, painful, sensitive skin, this is going to be your new BFF. I try not to really wear makeup over top of the Vaseline. So on days that I have that same type of skin where it's just raw, flaky, dry, peeling, and I do want to wear a little bit of makeup, maybe to cover the redness or I need to look more presentable, I use the Sisapair from Dr. Jart. This is the Tiger Grass Cream. I had featured this guy in my most recent favorites video, so I talked a bit more about it in there. I'll post the link for that here. But this hydrates and soothes redness and itching skin due to dryness. It also has a slight green tint to it, so it's gonna help to conceal the red areas. This stuff also absorbs right into the skin, but it does leave the perfect amount of protection on top of my skin. My makeup doesn't cling to it. It works really well as a primer when necessary. Use this and then put a little bit of concealer or foundation. Other treatment options that I use, the first one is the Biore Deep Cleansing Pore Strips. I use these about once a week. They instantly unclog your pores to remove dirt, oil, and blackheads. I typically get the combo pack, so this is for the nose and face. I'm sure most of you guys have already or do already use these, but it's basically like paper mache. You just wet your skin and then place this over top, let it dry, and then you peel it off in about 15 minutes. When you peel it off, you'll be amazed at how much dirt that these can remove. It is amazing in the grossest way. So for me, for the cystic, sometimes they last so long and they're just that bad where I have to actually get an injection into the cyst itself to help clear out the bacteria. Obviously, that's something that's done by your dermatologist and an option that you can speak with them about, but there are options. There's also oral medication that you can take. I do personally take an antibiotic to help prevent and treat cystic acne. I will typically take this every other month. It's a very low dose antibiotic, but it works wonders for people suffering with cystic acne. When I am having a cystic breakout, I am a huge fan of Dream Dots. So these purify, protect, and calm your skin. They're basically like little band-aids that you put over top of the breakout to help hide it and help to heal it. It's shaped like a circle and you literally just put that band-aid on and it helps to hide the redness and breakout itself. It's also great for people who touch or pick their skin. You don't want to do that. Do not do that. I don't care what type of acne or breakout or whatever is going on with your skin. Leave it alone. Just treat it. Use the products, let them work, and let your skin heal. Otherwise, you're going to end up scarring. So if you do need to conceal a breakout, these are a great option. You can also apply makeup over top. I've done that a few times, and it just works, like, amazing. People typically won't even know that you're wearing it. You can also leave them on overnight to help speed up the healing process. They are more of, like, a emergency backup type of option, but I've used them time, time, and again, and I just, I'm a huge fan. It just makes dealing with those breakouts a little bit easier and less embarrassing. So to give my skin a healthy glow throughout the year, I use my Million Dollar Summer Sun Self Tanner. No joke, my favorite self tanner. I've used it for so long now. I apply this all over my body, but I do also use this on my face. So this is great for anyone with sensitive skin, all skin types. It's just going to give you that nice healthy glow without getting in the sun and giving yourself sun damage or wrinkles. This is a much safer option than a tanning bed or laying outside. You guys have probably seen the typical body mitt, but they also have a tiny little mitt for your face. <laughs> so that's really cute to apply on all over. I also use makeup brushes. So if I want to sort of give like a contoured look to the self tanner, or even just application in itself, I will either use a flat kabuki brush 
or a contouring brush. So these are great options for applying a self tanner on the face as well. This guy, obviously you can get the self tanner on all over. And then the contour brush is great for if you want to add a little bit more in the jawline or cheekbone area. That's just another great option. Of course you can just stick with the typical self tanner mitt. For anyone interested in shopping for the self tanner, I do have a discount code available for you guys. It's tan B. I'll post that here. The last thing that I use in my skincare routine that I'm a huge fan of is sheet masks. I'm obsessed. No joke. Like, I don't know how slash why I didn't incorporate this sooner. I'm like saddened that I haven't been using these longer. Because they just work so well. These are great for all skin types. They have a bunch of different ones on the market. I've used a ton. Some of them I'm a big fan of. Some I don't think works that well. I can also post more in depth, sort of like a mini review on these. If you guys are interested in that to know which ones I love and don't really love. Sorry, they're like all sticking together. I still have a ton of different ones to try. So if that's something that you guys want a more in-depth video on separately, like a breakdown of all these sheet masks, let me know. Please comment in the comment section. Because I've been trying so many different ones, I don't really have a one set brand to tell you, but I do have a couple options that I would say that you guys should give a try. So the first one is the Pharmacy Hydrating Coconut Gel Mask. This is for brightening and hydrating your skin. The other one that I really liked is the Herb Tea Calming Mask to soothe and purify the skin. It's also hydrating. This is chamomile, black tea, and aloe from Cremora Lab. I think I said that right. I feel so far that these gave the best result right after wearing them and gave my skin a nice glow, but also was extremely soft, hydrated, smooth, like newborn baby. And another one I really liked is the Dr. Jart Water Replenish Cotton Sheet Mask. This is good for redness and dryness. It has eucalyptus fiber, collagen, chamomile, cactus flower. And for all of these, you leave them on for about 20 minutes. It's just like a white, clear cotton sheet mask. So you literally, it has like the holes cut out. So for your eyes, nose, mouth, that's already cut out for you. You just place the mask on and you just leave it on and you look like a crazy person. But trust me, after you use it, you're going to be hooked and wonder the same thing, why you didn't start using them before. Because they are just that amazing and that important to my skincare routine. Sheet masks can be used anytime, day or night, as often as you want really. But typically I'll apply one maybe once or twice a week and I usually apply it before bed. Sometimes I will apply them before makeup. There's really no right or wrong way to or when you apply them. I know how embarrassing acne can be. Trust me, I've dealt with enough breakouts for all of us. <laughs> Recently, thankfully, I've been able to get it for the most part under control. Don't get discouraged. I've tried numerous amount of products that didn't work for me. I know how frustrating it can be. I do encourage you, if possible, to see a dermatologist. Please also remember, it is important to stay consistent. So when you try a new product or new skincare routine, it can take about, on average, two weeks for these products to start working. It's not an overnight fix, no matter what you use. Also, as I said about keeping things clean, being conscious of what you're doing, these are things that you have to keep up with, as well as using the product as stated, so use it as you're supposed to. I'll also post on the screen here the entire routine as I had mentioned it so you can see it all together so morning and at night because I know it's kind of confusing going through each item one by one so that is everything in my recent skincare routine I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and give these products a try and they really work for you if you enjoyed this video and you want me to keep doing updated skincare routine videos because my routine honestly changes every few months I like trying new products, so I would say about every three months my routine either changes a little or entirely. If you want me to keep doing this style video, please give this video a thumbs up. Make sure that you are subscribed and your notifications for my channel are turned on. That way you get notified every time I upload a video. Be sure to check out the description box for more information and links for all of these products. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.